So this is built in Rust. Um, what, what like toolkit is it built with? Uh, Liberator. Oh, so you're using the Rust GTK bindings? Yes. Okay. They are, uh, they are actually great. I've heard very mixed like, things about them. Um, yeah, can you talk about that? I, I, I actually would like to know. Like the most annoying thing with them is basically uh, multi-threading mm -hmm. but but that can be easily resolved with the async channel thingy mm -hmm. otherwise like yeah there, it's class based so it looks really good with GUIs mm -hmm. working with them elements and they're fast AF mm -hmm. Considering that you're using Rust, what made you want to go with the? What made you want to go with GTK? Like, there are native Rust toolkits, or were you not a fan of the state they are in, or yeah, what what exactly was wrong with those? I mean, uh, I originally was a Python GTK three dev. I see. Okay. That that's like the first thing I tried. Mm -hmm. Why did I go with that? Basically, Python was my first language, so mm. that's the Python part. And uh, and GTK is like the, the GTK3 specifically mm. integrated well with both GNOME and KDE, mm -hmm. whereas Qt you know, integrates well with KDE, but doesn't look good in GNOME. Mm -hmm. And it kind of looks better than Qt. Mm -hmm. Back in the GTK3 themes days. Mm -hmm. So, that, so my first GUI experience was based on that. Mm -hmm. that. So, I went looking for a better language. Mm -hmm. And the internet is full of Rust propagandists. <laughs> so, yeah. That's one way to put it, yeah. So basically, they uh, said memory safety, and I was like, okay, cool, mm -hmm. I'll take that. And uh, G why JTK4? Because I'm experienced with JTK3, so mm -hmm. just just went with that. So it's just and, uh, going, what if you knew? And basically. my statement still stands, like, that's that mm -hmm. looks, this is KDE, mm -hmm. and that app looks really good in it. Yeah, this is actually a really clean looking application. I actually, I I am I'm kind of surprised with with uh you, you mentioned it was Libid Waiter. Yeah, this is a Libid Waiter. It, it looks great in KDE, and mm -hmm. it will of course look great in GNOME. Mm -hmm. mm. The native Rust things, mm -hmm. like is sled and whatever it was. What was it? Uh, sorry? Oh, that... Slint, uh, Iced? Slint, yes. Yeah, slint and Iced. L like, they're cool, but they don't look integrated with neither KDE nor GNOME. Right. And I have no experience with them. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, so that... You just, you know GTK, what... so it just made sense to go with GTK. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think... Th this is one of the things I did want to, um, talk about... With the the way the project um, the way the project shows itself up. So when I when I go to the the PicoS website, yes, you do a you you talk a bit about like what the project is, but I had no idea these tools existed, and uh, I do think th that it might be helpful to put some of that stuff on the front page of the um of the the website of the wiki. So people actually know that this stuff is even something that is available. It's all Pharaoh's fault. <laughs> you want to comment on that? Yeah, the the main issue we have is we're both busy developing the distro, right? Fair. So it's it's difficult to find time to concentrate on the wiki. And um, we were based on Ubuntu, and we recently 
late last year switched over to the Debian base, mm. and we wanted to have a new web page for it, so we just kind of threw up the wiki. So I see, I see. it is very much it is very much just placeholder. Um, we did used to have a website and everything, but obviously we changed we changed base, and it was all out of date. So there was there was no point trying to update that. So right. That explains why when I went and uh, looked into some stuff, I was seeing people saying it was Ubuntu-based. Some of those must have been some older comments then, or people who didn't realize there was a change in the base. Yeah, so I guess for everyone everyone watching and listening, um, we, started, we started converting over um, around last March, last year. Uh, mm-hmm. It took a long time for us to... Because we're we're rebuilding every single Debian package, mm-hmm. so it took about three months to build all of them. In the end, that's twenty four seven on a on a thirty two thread uh, dedicated build server as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, it took a long time, um, and then we had a beta period, and then we finally finally released in sort of November. Mm-hmm. 